So if we go back and we think about the sky dome, and I'm going to do this little diagram of this is the sky dome that we've talked about in the textbook and uh, in the class. And uh, this is going to be the ground, all right? And so we have the sky dome. And you can kind of see that, you know, the this dome that we have could be uh, is this is a hemisphere first of all and we could project that dome onto multiple different surfaces so the first projection uh, that we will do is is going to be orthographic okay and essentially an orthographic projection is going to be what happens if I were to try to take a flat piece of paper maybe like a cylinder of paper and I were to try to wrap that cylinder around all right right around this sky dome right so I'm gonna have everybody see the cylinder that's wrapping around so I'm gonna want to project points onto that flat surface and ultimately that flat surface is going to be printed out and we're going to have our basis for our sun charts in terms of the azimuth angle All right, so the rotation along here along the the planar rotation along the horizontal is the azimuth angle and the angle from the ground up the vertical rotation is going to be the altitude angle. Right? Of course, the complement of that, if we were talking about the sun, would be the zenith angle, which is why we could represent this as 0 to 90 and 90 down to 0 with the zenith angle. We have two conventions for plotting the azimuth angle. Uh, the one, excuse me, the one is to make east negative so we can go negative uh, 180 degrees and west positive 180 degrees where this zero is pointed at the equator right um, of course uh, the alternate is to begin in the north with zero degrees and to work your way clockwise to all the way around to 360 degrees in which case south not the equator is going to be positive 180 degrees now this is the convention that a lot of the uh, solar world has used for some time. However, this is the standard convention that the that has been established through meteorology. Uh, so we tend to use both flexibly, but uh, just uh, know that in general the 360 degree is, 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 a, is an accepted standard. All right. So if we then go to the next page and we think about that same sky dome right and we've got our ground and instead of trying to project it off to the side we are effectively lying on the ground and we're going to project upwards And this way, the azimuth angles are rotating around in a circle, just like the as just like the azimuth angles would be doing here on the ground. The altitude angles, however, are going to be uh, represented as arcs across where the higher in the sky you are the closer to uh, 
uh, the center of the circle. And how do we see that? Well, we look at it like this. And we're going to start to see the center point. And I'm going to put south here. We know that south is in the northern hemisphere where the sun is at its highest point. So we're going to see arcs in the sky that look like this, going from, in our case, east to west. This is going to be summertime. This is going to be wintertime, when the sun is low in the sky versus high in the sky. Here is going to be an alpha of 90 degrees, and the ring around the bottom is going to be an alpha of 0 degrees. Okay, it's a little different plot. The lines are going to be flipped from what you were used to in orthographic projection, but you can do both of these at the uh, Oregon site uh, for sunflies.